Now we're going to compute the antiderivative of a function using substitution rule. So number one, it's the integral of x plus 4 raised to the power of 5 with respect to x. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to substitute because you could actually solve this using the substitution rule. Uh, using without using the substitution rule but it's better that you're going to use substitution rule so that it would be simpler and easier so what you're going to do is let u you're going to use u x plus 4 so the, let go you're going to let u be x plus 4 so that it would be easier so that it would look like this so because this is u so u to the 5 now, because it's, you're using u as your variable, so you should use also du instead of dx. So where are you going to get du? So what you're going to do is you're going to get the derivative of this one. So the derivative of u is du, 1 du. And the derivative of x is 1 dx or dx plus 0 or d 1 plus 0, which is equal to 1, which is also equal to dx. So du is equal to dx. So ang dx now could be substituted to, could be substituted by du. So this one, so you see, um, get the antiderivative u to the 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1, 6 plus capital letter C or letter C u to the 6 over 6 plus c and then substitute u with x plus 4 so it would become x plus 4 raised to the power of 6 over 6 plus c so that's the answer so that's how you're going to do substitution rule so for number two so let u be if you're going to solve this using you're going to solve this directly you cannot easily find the answer because there are there are two you know there are two quantity this one and this one so what you're going to do is let u be x to the 5 plus 2 and then you solve for du du is so find the derivative copy the exponent x minus 1 4 plus 0 so dx so this is now the derivative so after that so if you're going to take a look at this, and this one is equal to this one, so they are the same. So it means ito siya, you're going to substitute this with the u. And this one is u, so u to the 9. So it would become u to the 9 du. So u to the 9 du. So to solve that, to find the integral, u to the 10 over 10 plus 1, and then copy plus c, which is equal to x5 plus 2 raised to the power of 10 divided by 10 plus c. So that's the answer. So for number 3, so in this one, we're going to let u be x squared minus 1. So x squared minus 1. So And then you find du, which is equal to, find the derivative 2x, 2 minus 1, that's equal to 1 minus 0 plus or not plus dx so the derivative of this one is 2x dx so this would be equal to if you notice ito siya x dx lang so walang 2 dito so they, you cannot substitute this with du so ang gagawin mo dahil ang given lang para you could rewrite this as this one so that it would be easy to to understand kasi x dx lang walang 2 dito so ang gagawin mo itong 2 ilipat mo dun or you get 2 Paano mo kukunin si 2? I-divide both sides by 2. So, ibig sabihin, x dx na lang dito. So, this one become 1 half du or du over 2. So, this one would become, kasi ang x dx is 1 half du. So, 1 half du over square root of u because this is u. So, after that, you're going to ilabas mo si 1 half. Magtira na lang si du over square root of u which is u so that's u to the negative one half du bakit u to the negative one half because this is also equal to one half one over square root of u du and this is equal to one two to the negative bakit two sorry sorry it's u 
negative or positive one half pala, positive one half du so because it's positive one half if you're going to transpose it in the numerator magiging negative siya so ganyan ang magiging sagot which is equal to um kunin mo ang, der ang and the derivative one half u negative one half plus one half plus 2 over 2 rather not plus 1 which is equal to 2 over 2 so that it would be easy so para maging easy siya so ginawa natin ang 1 ginawa natin 2 over 2 so negative 1 half plus 2 over 2 it's positive 1 half so ganyan siya plus c so because 1 half 1 half so you can simply cancel this so magiging u to the positive 1 half plus c which is equal to ang u is x squared minus 1 raised to the power of 1 half plus c so that's the answer or a square root of x squared minus 1 plus c for number 4 so usually the denominator yun siyang i let u so let u be cosine x and then du the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x dx so because it's positive dx positive sign dito so ilipat mo yung negative maging negative du sin x so pwede mo na substitute so sin x dx is equal to negative du so negative du over u so it will become negative 1 over u du so the derivative of 1 over u is negative ln absolute value of u plus c which is also equal to negative ln of u is equal to cosine x plus c so that's the answer for number four for number five this is quite complicated because ang una mong gagawin if you're going to let u be x plus one so so let u natin muna ang x plus one so let u b equal to x plus 1 because usually it's in the denominator diba so du is equal to dx so what will happen here x squared plus 2 ano mangyayari so it just it it would be very difficult still be very difficult so anong gagawin mo dyan ang una mong gagawin is you're going to divide muna x squared plus 2 by x plus 1 so x squared divided by x it's x x times x x squared x times 1 it's positive 1x positive 1x minus so kasi walang 1x dyan so again plan muna natin ng 0x plus 2 so 0x kasi dapat descending yung exponent so 2 1 0 so minus cancel 0 minus 1 it's negative 1x plus 2 negative 1x divided by x is negative 1 negative 1 times x negative 1 x negative 1 times 1 it's negative 1 minus cancel 2 minus minus 1 it's neg positive 3 so that's the answer to simplify so if we mean this is also equal to x minus 1 x minus 1 plus 3 over x plus 1 dx so for that Ito, we could find already the, the antiderivative of x because it's also equal to x squared over 2 minus 1x. The, the antiderivative of 1 is 1x plus 3, 1 over x plus 1 dx. And here, we will let u be x plus 1 and du is equal to dx so du is equal to dx so ang mangyari niyan x squared over 2 minus 1x plus 3 so it will become 1 over u du so x squared over 2 minus 1x plus 3 the deriv antiderivative of 1 over u is ln absolute value of u plus c which is equal to so this is equal to x squared over 2 minus 1x plus 3 ln of u which is x plus 1 absolute value of x plus 1 plus c so that's the final answer for number 
five.